Namaste my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to go over the underactive heart chakra. You know, I was explaining in my last video, the overactive, um, that I basically skipped over the, the chakra series because I had my own blockages when it came to like my heart chakra and whatnot. But now that we're Gucci again, now that my heart chakra is popping again, I was able to fully like grasp these concepts. I was able to like balance out. I was able to integrate this energy and whatnot. Um, I'm never going to teach you anything that I don't understand and that doesn't work for me, right? So when I was going through my whole video series with the chakras, I, you know, at that point when I started my video series on YouTube, um, I had already like been very well versed with the chakras. I've been trained in different energy healing modalities. Um, I'd worked with other people's chakras one on one. I'd got experience um, as well as working with my own. Uh, I'm able to often visually see you know, um, hues of chakras and, you know, all the stuff, right? But I don't know everything. There's always more to learn. Also time, um, and time and space here, the 3D, it's not so, it's not as like set in stone as we think, right? So especially when it comes to like energy systems and stuff like that, it's always kind of changing. It's always kind of updating, especially as we raise our vibration, like humans are changing right now. Like there's more chakras coming online and being activated, um, than just the original seven, right? Um, and of course we have all the little ones in our body and whatnot, but my point is, um, I went back over the, the heart chakra because I'm writing a book and I'm getting into the heart chakra chapter and I thought this was the perfect time to do these videos. So I just wanna kinda show you, um, I was teaching earlier and I kinda made this chart for them so you, they can kinda understand uh, how they can discern for themselves if they have underactivity or overactivity and this chart is actually a great way you know if you write in the middle like uh heart chakra is all about love connection healing right and then you know for underactive you write kind of all the ways that you could see love like there not being enough love energy apparent you know like not being able to feel or accept love is what we put right um what we put for overactive like love is basically self-sacrifice like you love too much too much to the point of your own detriment so we're talking about the underactive though so for underactive um in the heart chakra it's like you do not value love you might be closed off to any sort of loving connection or relationship right um you may not be open to having an animal. You don't want that kind of connection or love. You may be closed off to dating. You may be closed off to like finding a significant other. You know, um, if your significant other passes away, this is a, you know, I experienced this firsthand with my child's father. It's like, you know, you almost feel guilty in a sense. Like you don't want to be with somebody else. Like you don't want to put yourself out there and go find that other person. Cause you know, it's a damage. It's a blockage in your heart chakra and it's under activity. You don't have enough um, energy flowing through. So this could also underactive um, could also look like you not valuing or prior prioritizing the connections with like your family, your friends, you know, maybe, you're just one of those people that um, kind of is like a loner, but you hate it. Like maybe you're always just like, oh, I feel lonely. You feel depressed, you feel anxious, but your family maybe peeps that and they're trying to help. Like they're like, hey, we're having a barbecue this weekend. Like come see the rest of the family and you know, cheer up and we'll kind of, we'll do some fun stuff and we'll reconnect and it'll be great. And you're like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Like you're closed off to that. And you may not even know why right that's the funny thing about subconscious blockages you guys is that we act a certain way sometimes and we maybe don't know why um the chakra system is here to help us like understanding these concepts are it's helping us because then we can kind of gauge where we're at and where we want to go the direction and the steps we want to take right so um another thing about underactives they're gonna be so closed off to like affection you know stuff like that if anybody has taken advantage of their love in the past and made them feel that way basically like they're gonna be suspicious of other people loving them like people may be trying to do something loving out of it you know compassionate and loving out of the kindness of their heart but you're like 
an underactive is going to be like suspicious of them like mm -mm, i'm not going to accept that i'm not like uh, i'm not really sure what's going on here like mm -mm, not letting you in like they have kind of like a wall up so that's not good because we got to have a balance right like you want to be happy you want to be able to connect and uh love with other people you know i was just saying um in the other in the overactive video it's like touch and affection snuggling looking people in their eyes all that that actually physically releases the hormone oxytocin also known as the love hormone because it makes us feel happy it makes us feel whew, like blissful like loving and we actually get that when we physically touch other people or hug or get affection or whatever and this is why like service animals are so great and whatnot because it, or you know emotional support animals because a lot of the time these people have anxiety or depression or whatever it may be and they can uh they they actually don't know the science behind it they're like well this animal just helps me to feel better i love this animal but it's it's deeper than that like this animal you hugging it and you loving it in these moments that's producing happy hormones within the two of you the the animal too so that's another sign of being underactive not wanting um to accept affection not wanting <clears throat> basically any part of it you could even have a partner that you're romantically involved with but they're just kind of like they're not affectionate like you don't you guys don't be holding hands you don't be like snuggling you could even like sleep in separate beds like i i remember my grandma and not to put my grandma on blast but her and her husband they used to sleep in different rooms and whatnot but they that's cool like they weren't fighting or anything they just like didn't sleep together like they didn't one of them snored or something or whatever right like and they were cool with it they're like this is just our dynamic blah 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 but in a sense you know some people need a little more like affection right like find who's best for you find who's compatible for you right but it is nice to have a balance um you know maybe you're used to like kissing your partner when they leave or whatever but the underactive is going to be like bye, bye bye like no kiss for me <laughs> like they're out of there right and they may not even you know they could have issues that they aren't even aware of like somebody taking advantage of their love or whatever right in the past that they don't even know is like sticking with them as a blockage and that could be causing them to not be affectionate but they're just looking at it like oh i'm just really not an affectionate person like it is what it is but it's like it's coming from somewhere right it's gonna have a balance so um healing is also another big thing with uh with the heart chakra so somebody with underactivity they're not gonna believe or want to help others or help heal others they're gonna be either completely like closed off to you know like oh you know i could never i could never help anybody i could never you know nothing that i would ever say or do um is going to be important enough that's not going to make a difference in somebody's life you know you could be like a nurse working at the hospital like helping heal people all day and yet you're sitting here like i mean i'm just at the hospital i don't really make a difference like i don't perceive it that way like you will literally not perceive yourself helping people you can get cards from patients being like thank you for helping me heal you were so important and you still be like they're just doing that to be nice they they didn't have to do that like i really didn't affect them like that like it's fake or whatever you know you're not gonna want to accept it um this could also look like you know um yeah, you're, you're just, you're not wanting to help or heal people for whatever way, shape, you know, why? Why are you not wanting to help people? Why are you not wanting to, you know, maybe, for example, you went to go out on a limb and stick your own neck out and you went to go help somebody before in the past, you know, maybe you went to go help somebody because you've seen they were changing their tire. You're like, hey, you got a flat tire? Like, do you need some help? And maybe they robbed you, right? So you're like, I'm never helping anybody ever again right? Uh, like it was like fake. It was a little skit. So you're going to go on throughout your life being like, I'm never going to help anybody ever again. Cause there was that one time where that I went to go help that guy and he robbed me or whatever. So there's a nice balance. It's about being realistic. Like, is that person really going to be everywhere I'm at every single time that I go to help somebody? And is that going to happen every single time? Like, no, it's not like, and see, 
helping somebody or healing somebody could be as small as you know you're in the grocery store and you see somebody who looks like maybe they were crying or something you're like whoa their eyes are all red or I don't know like what they're going through but they just look kind of disheveled you can you know take something about their outfit you like and be like you know I like tell them about it like I really love your shirt and it looks great on you like where did you get it like that's you look great just letting you know I had to let you know it could be something that small and they're gonna you know imagine the last time somebody gave you a compliment like I know I'm always like really oh thanks like it makes my day pop in you guys like when people like compliment you or whatever and so people take recognition of you like you are seen you are heard like you look at you right even that little baby tiny difference can rearrange somebody's entire day it's literally you guys the smallest comments have rearranged my entire day if you're not that kind of person i am <laughs> okay so other people are too you guys i promise you a little goes a long way with love helping healing right so this is pretty much all i got for the underactive chakra um i hope this was helpful um if it was helpful in any way shape or form go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments do you feel like you have underactivity or are you more of an overactive or you know do you have other um qualities about the heart chakra that you feel like i missed or whatever you guys unload it on me okay in the comments and we will go over it um stick around we're going over some fun stuff i'm gonna be doing how to balance the heart chakra next along with a bunch of other fun topics so stick around namaste